um, Boba Fett appears as a cartoon character. I think that's his first first appearance, just after 78. The uh, holiday special. I am Boba Fett. I think a great deal of fans, 98% of fans, want to know more about him. I grow up and four and five and that, and then I become a bounty hunter. Whoa, I even get the jet packs. <laughs> As much rain as we can get, as much wind as we can get. One of the great things about episode two is it really delivers on this mysterious and wonderful character, Boba Fett, and also someone who's equally uh, mysterious, uh, the character called Jango Fett. I guess he's the original bounty hunter then, because Boba Fett's like 11 years old in this one. Come back on uh, Monday, I think, to fly his spaceships. Can you do that? Fly through asteroids, fight, shoot. Took him under my arm. Call me dad now while we're here. Okay, I'll call you son, you know, just so we get the bit of bonding going. Yeah, we just got to use our imaginations. Actually, I think this is what fans have been waiting for ever since they saw Boba Fett and The Empire Strikes Back. Bounty hunters. And the very first day was um, a, a scene with all the bounty hunters. And I really, all I was doing was just standing and looking at Darth Vader occasionally. No disintegration. As you wish. I remember my younger son saying, um, isn't it funny you put a bucket over your head, Dad, and, uh, you know, and people think you're rather cool. He's all yours, bounty hunter. It was very exciting because the first real science fiction film I'd done. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. Human, yes. Um, origin, unknown. Planet, unknown. He was quite a special character. It's the mystery behind this uniform. You need to see the film several times to think, why does he wear this death head on his epaulette? Uh, they had little knee pads where I could fire darts with. They were Velcroed on. And by the end of the day, they'd obviously slipped round, so you'd have to keep shifting them. And if I walked, which I didn't do much of, they'd shoot across the room because the Velcro would snap off and fly. It wasn't easy. This is from Empire, and there's Boba Fett on set with his knee pads on upside down and his trousers rolled up. <laughs> so when we first got the photos from the fitting and we put it next to, you know, put them next to one another, you could see who it was meant to be, yeah. but also you could see it was a different character, which was quite cool. They used the Boba Fett costume for my costume as well. May the force be with you, bro. We've gone for this new kind of silver millennium kind of color. It feels amazing and privileged to hold that mantle of the Boba Fett reign, you know? George, what's my lines today, George? Any dialogue? You draw your guns and you pow, pow, pow. The fight scene with Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> the space chase through uh, asteroid planets. And the helmet, of course. And that got a bit, uh, a bit much in the rain sometimes. Believe me, this is rain. This is real rain. Draw cameras. You know, while you're doing your action and your fight scenes... And the thing fogs up, I can't see anything. Oh, well, I'll just carry on like this. <laughs> I can just see this blur coming down. Being a uh, strong, virile Maori warrior from New Zealand, well, you just got to deal with these elements and carry on. Thank goodness for those stunt doubles. <laughs> Good MC George, the director. Ask him about your motivation. I love Boba Fett. I mean, we get to spend a lot of time with him in this movie. We get to understand where he comes from, but we also understand that uh, we get to understand that his identity is forged in some of the most powerful events that take place in the whole Star Wars saga. But the biggest thing of all, he's uh, he's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> May the force be with me. It's awesome. It's even more powerful than what we see um, 
in uh, Empire Strikes Back. I think it's uh, people are going to be blown away, not only by the costume, but by the performance and the whole overall um, story that takes place between Jango Fett and Boba Fett. It wouldn't rain up in space. <laughs>